Hello everyone, back again in my channel koleksi saya. This time I would like to share my opinion on the statue I received a year ago. This one is the first time I opened the box. Yes, some of my statues are still unopened inside the box for months and months. This one is actually a Japanese anime statue instead of western character statue. This is a fan art Majin Buu statue, realistic version. The artist tried to make lines of realistic version of Dragon Ball characters, and this one is their Majin Buu, or maybe I can say Super Buu, the version of Buu where he just absorbed the fat Buu. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I hope you enjoy my review. Right, so honestly guys, I'm not really into anime characters, and initially I did not plan to review this statue. But when I opened the box, I could see something was really special about this statue. The main thing I really like about this statue is the scalp and the paint. As you can see, the scalp highlights all the muscle tones, but not only human-shaped muscle anatomy. Maybe I give you a bit background of what I think if I hear the words realistic Boo. I'm referencing Boo as seen in Dragon Ball Z. I know there are other Dragon Ball movies where they tell stories of Boo, but my main reference now is Dragon Ball Z. When the first time I see Boo in Dragon Ball, he was released to the world in the form of gas, or something like gas. As time goes on, the series showed if his form was like blob that can reshape itself. It looks like human flesh, or maybe more similar to bubblegum material. I really don't know what his body is made from, but it is like between liquidy or gassy material. And his reshaped movement is really really faster than T-1000. Now, I always think that Boo's main form is the Kid Boo. There are similar parts between his body and human body. For example, both have a head, two arms, two legs, etc. And what I think different are our biological system. Boo can reshape his body, human cannot. Human has digestion system which maybe Boo also has, but maybe it is different. Human has blood circulation system, which is pumped by a heart. I'm not sure Boo even has blood. Even I'm not sure that Boo has the same muscular system as human. What I believe is his muscle material definitely different with human muscle material. I don't think Boo has to be appeared bulky or muscular to be strong as hell. Well, you can look at Kid Boo. So, I think realistically, Originally, Boo doesn't have muscular body and doesn't have blood vessels because Boo's body is not human body. Boo's body can or may become more human though, in my opinion, after he absorbs human. Maybe, maybe, after he absorbs human, his body can vaguely imitate human's muscle, human's blood vessels, etc. Even though, in my opinion, it is useless for him. But this may be happen automatically beyond his control because he absorbs human body. His biological body just react to human body automatically, maybe. So, this version of Boo we are seeing here is when he just absorbed fat Boo, which I think, realistically, will not have these blood vessels. This version of Boo have not yet absorbed human body. But if we trace to the past of Boo long time ago, Boo had absorbed Kaioshin, therefore Fat Boo exists. I'm not sure the biological body of Southern Kaioshin, but I can just imagine if this blood vessels is inherited from Kaioshin's body. But again, if you ask me about realistic Boo, realistically, this version of Boo especially, I will not create these blood vessels. Maybe even this version of Boo doesn't have blood vessels at all. So this statue, in my opinion, is more like humanly realistic boo, not booly realistic. Yeah, I just made up that word. Imagine booly realistic. But apart of that, I really like the scalp of his muscle. They made his muscle shapes beyond a normal human muscle shape. There are shapes like this kind of melting muscle. Can you see this? This is what I mean. Parts where the muscles connected each other, like melting. And these muscle shapes more look like Boo's body material, which can change or reshape to other objects. And I also like the painting of Boo's body, which really highlight his muscle tones. This statue comes with three alternative heads and two alternative left hands, and they also give a light feature to the statue. 
Honestly, I'm not too interested with the light feature, but it is not bad. For me, it is okay if the statue comes without the light. The light switches are located at each piece, so it is not a central switch, but individual switches in each piece. This means inside each piece, they need to put the battery too. And I'm not sure if it is simple enough to change the battery. Another thing I like is that for a 4th scale statue, its box is not as big as, for example, XM Studio boxes. As my storage room is getting out of space already, this compact size of box really helped me a lot to store the box. Finally, actually I really like to compare this statue to the other realistic version statues of Dragon Ball characters. For example, if we talk about Boo, there is another awesome realistic Boo fan art by Mr. Su Yong Kim. Make sure you watch the video I provide in the description below. That Boo is also humanly or I can say alienly realistic Boo in my opinion. Oh wait, Boo is an alien too. Anyway, there are more and more interpretation of realistic version of Dragon Ball characters. Recently, Cell are also coming more and more, so please check them too. The artist who created this Boo statue actually also created Cell realistic version as well. Okay guys. Overall, this Boo statue is a great piece. If this camera cannot catch the details, I believe you will need to see the sculpt by your own eyes. And that was my review of Majin Buu realistic version fan art statue. Please let me know what do you think about this statue. If you enjoy my review, don't forget to like this video. You can also subscribe my channel to get more statue review from me. Thank you guys!